Yo, what's good everyone? You guys know what we got today. Shadow 2.0s. We're breaking these shoes down today and I'm letting you guys know if you should sell or hold these. Let's go. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said today, we're talking about the newest Air Jordans. They just came out yesterday, the Shadow 2.0s. These ones go pretty crazy. I've been excited for them for a while in hand. A little bit disappointed, but I definitely like the colorway, like the shoe. I know a lot of people had some major success. Today, if you guys haven't seen a unboxing video before from me, basically I'm going to break down the release, talk about kind of the what went on on the release day, how I secured my pairs, um, and then we'll get into more of a breakdown of the shoe. We'll unbox them, go through materials, some of my favorite details on the shoe, and then at the end of the video is where I'm going to give the big resale prediction, give kind of my guide what I think these shoes are going to do in the future as well as right now and let you guys know if you should sell or if you should hold them. Pretty important one with these ones because stock was actually pretty high, a lot higher than a lot of people expected, even I expected, but they were pretty high. One of the highest Jordan 1 stocks ever, so we'll talk about that later, but first you guys know. Hit that subscribe button, leave a big like. You guys know what to do, it's YouTube, but let's get into these shoes today. So as you guys may or may not have seen, I did a how to cut video with these ones, gave some pretty big tips. I know a lot of people use those tips and they hit, and it was a pretty good drop, honestly, I hear for a lot of people. Stock was very, very high. I think it was about 280,000 for this one, which is significantly higher than any other Air Jordan one that's come out before. Um, foot size stock was about 15 to 20,000, so still pretty good. I know a lot of people with bots ate on foot side, some good bots. They did very, very good on that one. Um, but these ones were pretty available. However, the actual release on like um, Nike sneakers and some other sites, the like 8 a.m., 10 a.m. Eastern like drops were horrible. Guys, let's talk about Nike sneakers first. I know a lot of us probably saw this, but originally we had these shoes and then also the Kobe 5 undefeated, the Hall of Fame ones load up. And both of those ones were at the same time, it's supposed to be on the hour. And you guys know, Sneakers has been doing draws lately. They've had everything be draws. Both of those shoes were loaded up as draws. And so it was really weird because it was loaded as a draw. The draw started, I had a couple entries start going in on draws. I usually kind of spread them out. So I was waiting and all of a sudden people were like sending notifications like they got them. And I was like, what is a draw for like 10 minutes? And it was so crazy because sneakers had like a glitch or some error or maybe they just took down the draw because it was having problems but it all of a sudden went from a 10 minute draw to literally like a leo enter as quick as you can one to two minute raffle that they usually like used to do in the past and so i know people had either the raffle or like the um drawing load on their phone or it was a straight like leo entry like enter quick and it'll notify you in like two minutes so they had huge major problems going on on the app and i know this also led to a lot of people who had um who didn't get like sent right to the draw a lot of people actually hit and i saw pretty pretty good success on them usually with sneakers it's about a 10 to 15 percent um success ratio but this one i saw about 45 percent success i know people were hitting mad pairs just on sneakers um i definitely got a couple pairs on sneakers app and then for me also Foot sites were pretty good. I know foot size stock was good. Carded and got a couple there as well. And this one in hand was actually from an in-store reservation. You guys know I cook in-store reservations. So this one today we're talking about is gonna be the in-store reservation. It's a eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half is gonna be the one we're hitting today. But let's break down the shoe, guys. The release was just crazy nuts. Even the Kobe Hall of Fame 2 was messed up on sneakers, sadly, because I really want those. But it's shadow time. So pulling this one out, you guys already know, these ones are pretty fire. I was so excited for the colorway. Materials are kind of interesting on them. And I was pretty disappointed when I saw the materials. I don't know if it might be a quality control issue that maybe some other pairs are different, but they've really been going cheap on this leather here on like the toe as well as in this quarter panel right here in the middle and i'm pretty disappointed in them i like i said i really like the color blocking on it but i wish they would have done a little bit better with the actual quality on the shoe i don't know why i think it just had to be because of how high stock the shoe was 
they just didn't make it as well as I honestly thought they would. One thing I actually just learned about this colorway, the Shadow 2.0 colorway, is that this shoe was actually supposed to come out back with the OG colorways back in the 80s. This was gonna be a shadow colorway that was gonna come out, but they actually scrapped the colorway and just did that OG colorway. And it was interesting because I never knew that about this one. So this shoe is actually just a scrapped colorway that they did bring back out of the vault to re-release basically. I've seen a couple like super old 1985 pairs of this one. And I mean, only the, the real difference I've seen is obviously just a little bit different materials, but and then the sock liner is pretty different from that old pair to this um, OG pair or the new pair here. As far as the shoe goes, the new buck on leather is pretty good. And I actually do like the new buck on it. It is a little cheaper though. The new buck is, I mean, it's pretty nice for the new buck. It's kind of soft. It's not like super, super nice, but I do like the new buck on there. However, I think it's the new buck on the leather, which is kind of the turn off for me. I just don't think that this leather on the upper, like I said, right here on the collar, the collar's a little softer, but this right here on the panel right there is not very good. I was very disappointed when I saw that. The midsole is composed in that white to provide a little bit of contrast to the shoe, which I actually do really like. And as far as the midsole goes, of course, the Air Jordan 1, we have the, um, that like rubber cup sole in there. And then you also have a PU wedge, which is jammed into the cup sole. Um, and that just kind of helps with kind of support and with um, cushion as well on the midsole. I do really like that hit on there. I think as far as like the color goes, I think it just looks amazing. That's why I really hit for these shoes in the first place because the shadow colorway, fire. Outsole, I love that they just matched the upper with that black outsole on there. And of course the Jordan 1 actually has some pretty good traction for those of you who are like trying to hoop in Jordan 1s or anything like that. Traction on Jordan 1s are very nice and I like them. I think they're comfortable walking around all day too, honestly. And then details, definitely these ones come with black and the nice shadow gray laces on the shoe. Personally, I like the black laces on there. It already comes laced up in them, but they did come with the gray laces as well. Pretty fire. I like both the laces colors on there. I think I prefer black, but other details also you have on the tongue, um, the black tag right there, the Nike tag, black tag, and then with the gray, shadow gray Nike Air logo on there too. And favorite parts for me personally on the shoe, like I said, I was pretty disappointed in them with the leather and the quality on the shoe. The control is not very nice, but I do just absolutely love the colorway. So I think that's a main reason why I want to keep it personal is because the colorway is so nice and stock was pretty high. So if you guys didn't get a pair, you should be also able to get one in the future. I expect like a Nike, like Jordan brand reserve to go down on the sneakers app. I expect local like foot store shop restocks as well as most likely a second chance opportunity on Nike sneakers. They do that with some shoes, but I expect stock being so high with these that Nike has saved some pairs for some stuff in the future. Okay, so breaking down the resale price now on these, my prediction, my guide with these, honestly, it's kind of tough because these ones definitely, they kind of bricked, but it's really because there's just so much stock and how oversaturated the market is right now. People are just trying to buy any pair they can and sell it for five bucks, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. Just trying to chase the bag, just trying to get a little more, more like money and stuff. So these ones sadly have kind of bricked in all prices. They're sitting at about 260 to 270 in most sizes. And I feel like once pairs come in, they're even, they're going to go down even more. So if you're trying to get a personal pair and you haven't hit yet, you got two options. Basically, you can wait it out and see if Nike does a restock or you can see like find a pair in store or anything. They're going to, so it's inevitable, but just depends if you wanna wait or not. Other than that, I just wait maybe like a week or two. And once people get pairs in hand, those prices, definitely gonna go down probably around 230 range, but a little similar to maybe the Volts, which is really weird for this one. But if you guys didn't know, back when the Shadows released in 2018, um, they did basically the same thing. They were sitting like, these things were huge bricks, basically like this. And with the shadow OGs, we can actually pull them up right here. Um, these ones were kind of bricks too back then, like I said, and I talked about this in my past video, the how to cop with the shadows, but they have gone up pretty good in price around five, 600, upper 600 or upper 500s. And so they're doing pretty good in most sizes. And I really like the leather on 
these ones a lot better, honestly. Um, but these ones were still good. However, resale price is going towards the future. These ones are gonna be kind of tough because right now with prices being so low, it is gonna be a hold. Um, I know people just might wanna cash out on a lot of their pairs, which is not a bad idea. But as far as like the future goes with the shoe, it's gonna be one that with releases kind of slowing down for the next like month, couple weeks ish, it might be a good hold if you guys get your pairs in quick. I don't know how fast Nike's shipping out from sneakers. Mine haven't shipped yet, but any like in-store pairs that you got could be a nice flip real quick. And then any ones you got online, I would probably hold for a little bit because I think it's gonna be pretty similar to these ones that came out in 2018. It's gonna be one that is gonna go up over time and especially towards winter fall like i said in my how to cop video this is gonna be one that will definitely go up and with stock being high it is kind of tough to see the future so if you want to sell definitely not a bad idea but i'm personally probably going to hold a couple pairs but for the video today that's gonna do it guys let me know down in the comments how you guys like these shoes if you guys like the shadows if you guys copped i know a lot of people had tons of success and a lot of people like those tips i gave in the how to cop guide so you guys know you guys don't want to miss out any other videos in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on as well you guys know what to do but thank you guys for the support shadow 2.0s pretty fire interesting materials but nonetheless we still copped it's good to see you guys today and we'll see you guys next time